I'm Kay Hester, and this is the Central Texas Authors Look in the Book. And with me today is C. Wayne Dawson. Wayne Dawson is a contributing writer to the Williamson County Sun. He's a former professor of American and world history, and he actually does blogs. Um, he does blogs on the Central Texas Authors, Sun City Stories, the Battle of Vienna and the Gates of Vienna, and today I want to talk to you, Wayne, about your latest book, Vienna's Last Jihad. Fascinating title. What are the central themes of Vienna's Last Jihad? Well, Kay, uh, thank you for asking. Uh, the central theme of Vienna's Last Jihad concerns Mathis Ziegler, a professor of languages, and in 1683 he faces a real agonizing choice. When the Muslim Turks uh, surround the city of Vienna and take his family hostage, they threaten to kill his family unless he informs and spies on his army. So if Mathis fights against the Muslims, then he risks losing everyone in life that's near and dear to him. How he makes that choice between family and country is the story behind Vienna's Last Jihad. He's a very interesting character. I'm, I'm into the book. I haven't finished it yet, but I'm enjoying that character. What inspired you to write the book? Now, you are, were a professor of world history, so I assume that's where you found out about this, but what inspired you to write Vienna's Last Jihad? Well, believe it or not, Kay, actually the story had lodged inside my mind from as far back as junior high school when I first took a course in world history and found out how the Muslims were on the verge of swallowing up all of Central Europe and eventually the rest of Europe when they invaded uh, Austria and surrounded Vienna. And Vienna came within hours, just hours of falling to the Muslims. Wow. And at the very last minute, uh, the Polish cavalry and associated German armies banded together and rode to the rescue and saved Vienna and perhaps all of Central Europe. All of Central Europe. Uh, they did take over Spain, the uh, area in Spain, and there's a lot of Moorish influence there. So Vienna, this means Austria would have been Muslim. Yes. And all of Europe eventually. That's fascinating. Now, um, who would want to read this book, Wayne? Well, it's interesting because I myself am not a professional marketer. But when I talked to someone who was used to doing demographics, she looked into that very question and she said that uh, a lot of people who are retired military would really enjoy this book. But interestingly enough, when I put it on free distribution with Amazon, I got a lot of responses from people that were looking for action and adventure. So it scored very high in that category against a, a whole field of competitors. So if people enjoy history, if they enjoy uh, not just history, but a good action adventure, of in a tale of intrigue, this is the type of story that's going to appeal to them. Sounds like it. It sounds like it. I'm enjoying the book. It's very exciting, but I don't know how it ends, except I guess I do know how it ends. I didn't win, but I, I can't wait to get to the end. It's, I'm enjoying it very much. And okay. you mentioned Amazon, mm -hmm. and I assume that it's in our local bookstores in the Central Texas area. Uh, it is available right now in Round Rock's The Book Spot, and anyone uh, who wants to order it online can go through Amazon or Kindle. Oh, I love Kindle. I, I do love Kindle. Now, Vienna's Last Jihad is this book, but don't you have another book in the works? Well, yes, I do, as a matter of fact. Uh, I'm writing about uh, the historical figure, not the vampire, but the historical Dracula. And uh, the title of the book will be The Treasure of the Raven King. And this one is much more involved with intrigue, codes, and secret messages, and is based once again on true life historical events. So you're doing, you've been doing research on vampires? Uh, no, no. <laughs> uh, actually, the historical Dracula was worse than a vampire. Wow. He may have killed as many as 100,000 people, often well, sorry for being explicit, often by impaling them on a stake. And he was in, was that, wasn't Austria, it was... Um, Not too far Transylvania. away. Transylvania? He was in Transylvania and a province just below it inside of present-day Romania that was called Wallachia. 
My goodness, I can't wait to see that one. That's going to be an exciting book. Well, thank you so much, Wayne. It's been a pleasure. And go out there and get Vienna's Last Jihad. And thank you for being here with the Central Texas Authors. Look in the book and get the book. Thank you, Kay. Really appreciated this opportunity.